That's right. They say that he has been in and out of jail for years now, mostly for smaller things like theft and drug offenses. Now, though, comes the serious charge of first-degree arson. That happens, as we now know, the final damage estimate here at this boat yard. Prosecutors say 58 boats were destroyed. As damage estimates exceed $8 million, prosecutors say a man named Arthur Eric Hellev is responsible for this, one of the worst arson cases in Seattle's history. It was really heartbreaking when we found out someone set the fire. And that means, you know, arson, and that means people deliberately doing that. According to newly released court papers, police cracked this case by using critical security video. Immediately after the fire started, they say a man was recorded jumping from one of the boat racks here. Detectives say they then used that video to track the man's movements all the way to one of the boats nearby. Hours later, officers raided that same boat where they say they found Eric Hellev sleeping inside. He's now accused of deliberately setting the fire that ruined 58 boats here at the Seattle Boat Company. It's just the effect of the families and customers and employees of, of what this has caused. That, uh, I think that's the biggest thing I'd want to say at this point, and that's really our focus. Eric Hellev now faces a charge of first-degree arson. According to court papers, police believe he used a torch lighter to set this fire. We're uh, very, very you know, uh, saddened and just feel for everybody affected. Other than arson, Eric Hellev also faces a burglary charge. That's because prosecutors say he burglarized a nearby business hours before this fire started. Well, we know the suspect has a criminal history and also is expected to see a judge tomorrow at the earliest. We've been talking to people in the area today about this damage right behind me, and they want to know, why was this done? It was a massive early Wednesday morning fire that destroyed dozens of boats off of Lake Union next to Seattle's Ship Canal Bridge. Today, employees at the Seattle Boat Company cleaned up what they could. James Baker, the general manager, said they're still looking into how much was destroyed. Preliminary estimates range from 30 to 50 boats damaged. The fire department has quoted the dollar amount at 8.5 million and said that could grow. Uh, the team got together uh, this morning and, um, and our, our team put together a command central and focusing on um, uh, using our resources so that we can get um, all of these customers and families and employees uh, at least affected as possible. The suspect in this case is in his early 30s. He's not being named as charges are still pending. He has a criminal history. State records show several arrests, including theft and drug charges. They have protected everything, and but at this point, when one person could just come in and create this chaos, it's unbelievable. Psyche Vlahos is the owner of Vula's Offshore Cafe. It's right across the street. He shared more of his experiences in this area near the Ship Canal Bridge, which we've also reported on extensively, saying he isn't completely surprised by the large fire as businesses next to the water have dealt with crime and he's also had break-ins at his cafe. Surprising, but not so surprising. We've had tent fires, we've had two residents burned down, vacant homes, and then this. Preparing to be even more alert now at his business, Psyche said his heart goes out to his neighbors at the Seattle Boat Company. Just to see it is gut-wrenching. Flames as high as 70 feet, a giant plume of smoke. Witnesses described explosions so intense they rocked the ground. Two boat racks and one massive fireball. We're very saddened um, to see this, this loss for um, all of these families. The Seattle Boat Company's Vice President, James Baker. I'm just absorbing the facts at this point. News of an arson arrest, bittersweet. A source telling Como security camera video captured a man climbing down the boat storage rack just before the fire. Police found a man hiding in a boat nearby, moored in the water. That's just unfortunate that somebody would do something like that. It really makes me upset to come down here and see a place that I worked at for about 30 years and it's destroyed. Bernard has spent 30 years working with the property owners, mostly welding work on boats. I live on my boat. I can appreciate that. These people lost a big part of their lives and for what? An excavator needed to break up the burn pile and the smoldering smoke that just wouldn't give up. The 18 to 30 foot vessels collapsed on top of one another. Seattle Boat Company said firefighters saved their building. The fire damage limited to the back wall. Well, it's just been a family uh, 
business forever. George Rockwell, longtime friends with the property owners and a boat owner himself. When you put your heart and soul in a business, um, you know, summertime hopefully is just around the corner and all of that, and it's going to be very hard for them to, you know, replace what has happened.